Okay, well, it's been a little while since I've uh, put up a video, and uh, I've been busy. I had to put my uh, diorama on hold, uh, and I'm doing uh, uh, something new. I wanted to, I wanted to try out. I, I kind of like their figures, so. And let's see if hopefully this will work. Uh, if you've seen the War Boss Tay's video with his phone camera, you know how hard it is to keep it in focus. So here we go. This is what I've been working on. Um, it's a uh, crew from the game of uh, Malifo. Uh, this is the uh, Victorious crew. Uh, and basically. This is Victoria the Swordmaster, and this is uh, Victoria the Bounty Hunter. And they're, they say they're twins, but they one, one might be a, a, a doppelganger, I, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, in their crew is, uh, is uh, Taylor, this is Taylor here, and you have... Uh, Bishop here, he's a kind of a martial artist, and then uh, you have Johan, he's a rogue steam fitter, whatever this is. It's kind of a steampunk uh, western style game, and it's uh, it, it's quite interesting. I, I kind of like it because it's skirmish. It's not, you don't need uh, to have a whole bunch of models out on the table to play. I mean, most of the games I believe are under 10 models, so, and you can add to them. Um, but uh, I really wanted to try out some different things with it, and uh, I got a really good workout with my flesh on these guys, as you can see. Um, this is Taylor. Uh, she's, I don't see too many uh, women with, uh, with a hammer, and uh, she's, uh, she's got some powers in her that are, that are pretty cool. And uh, whatnot. I, I'm, I'm thinking about putting these up on eBay. I might play a game with them beforehand. There's Victoria, the uh, Swordman. I'm thinking this is the uh, the doppelganger. Uh, let's see, she's quite evocative in her outfit. Uh, not particularly uh, suited for fighting, but uh, what the heck, you know? It's only a game. Uh, and then I think this is the one that uh, is kind of the the real one, the actual one. Um, now what I did here is, if you'll notice, the uh, the leggings and and the uh, what clothes she is wearing is is red, and then her sword uh, scabbards are, are green. I brought this over to her too, with her uh, jacket being red, and then her pants being green, so that they kind of combined in together, but. Uh, I wanted to try some different hairs, you know, with, uh, I went blonde with one and uh, kind of a ginger redhead with the other one. This is, uh, this is her backside, a little more modest. Very anime style, uh, kind of like that. It's uh, a lot of fun to paint. And this is Bishop. And then uh, he, uh, he just, he's a, he's a, he's a scrapper kind of likes to fight one on one as you can see he's kind of beckoning somebody to come at him and then he's got the uh, he's got this ball and chain type weapon um, the hair on him um, I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do with him and and there was a little bit of uh, there was a little bit of a problem with his face as you can see, he's got like one strand, a couple strands of hair that are, are, are falling right in, in, down the center of his face. Well, kind of misshapen in the cast, so uh, the, the close-up on his face is not, not too hot. But uh, I didn't know what I was going to do with his hair. I actually, that's all wash. That's, uh, there's no paint uh, from the pot. That's all done in a, in a black wash. I did a, uh, a gray uh, primer and then and then just washed it and darkened it where it needed to be darkened and left it light where it was going to be light and then uh, this is uh, Johan he's the big guy of the group um, he's uh, 
he's kind of he's kind of kind of hammering a gun, so he's he's ready for anything close combat or or ranged. Um, if my camera will focus in on him. And again, I went with the uh, I went with the red. Come on, get in there. There we go. Come on, get in focus for me. These old pedo cheese. Sometimes I want to throw this thing through the wall. Um, but uh, here we go. He's uh, he's quite the muscular dude, and he's got piercings in his six pack. And uh, and whatnot. And then uh, I just did quick bases with him. It's all cork, and just basically did a a granite type type of uh, a base with him. So that's basically what I've been doing. Um, I will be getting back to the uh, to the Warhammer diorama, the, the biker diorama. Um, like I said, I was just I wanted to I wanted to test these out. Um, I want to get some. I'm going to start throwing some stuff up on eBay so that I can start getting more figures in and and uh, you know until I land a job and whatnot, so I can you know I can supplement what uh, what uh, la I'm lacking right now. So. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, rate it and uh, comment, like if you liked it. Uh, subscribe if you want to. I've gotten some other subscribers uh, recently. Uh, thank you very much for joining my channel. Uh, I hope um, I'm inspiring some of you out there to try some different stuff, uh, especially the flesh. Uh, this is uh, it's it's quite challenging, and this camera does not do do it justice. I'm, I, I'm really surprised because this is the first first time I've done this much uh, this much flesh and and, uh, and faces and whatnot. And, and there's very about the only thing I used out of the GW range was uh, the metallics and uh, the uh, the granite and grays for the bases. Other than that, the rest of it's all uh, Vallejo and the Andrea uh, flesh kit. So. Uh, let me know what you think, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.